and you would have no idea that this is a vegan meatloaf. No, and it's so moist. A pinch of this, a dash of that. This is for the people on the go. Oh, it's delicious. This is... So fancy. This is the recipe. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back. I am joined by my friend Liz. I really appreciate you sharing this recipe. We did a few adjustments because you're a vegetarian, yes. I'm vegan. We'll take you through those, but I wanted to introduce you. You're a stylist. Yes. You're, I mean, you are a million things. Tell us who you are. Well, I'm Liz. I'm a Libra. I grew up in a town of like 800 people. I come from grassroots, but look at me. Obviously, I'm a black sheep. <laughs> My family loves to cook. It's a huge part of our culture, what brings our family together. Yeah. I am a cat mom. Oh. What's your cat's name? Voldemort. Oh, he's so cute. Voldemort. We need to like yes. pop picture of Voldemort yes. up on the screen. Yeah. I actually am not a good cook. <gasps> this recipe I shared with you is so easy, so simple. Yes. It's very hard to mess it up. And if anyone could mess it up, it would be me. So I'm excited to share this with you. We are going to get into the recipe while I kind of take everything up here. Like you said, it's part of your family's culture, your heritage. Yeah. Tell me more about your family and what do they love to cook? Yes, yeah, so my family is Czechoslovakian. Okay. Uh, before it split, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. They like to cook a lot of, I would say it's a mixture of Eastern European and Southern food. But they cook a lot of like, homegrown grassroots like southern food so whenever we have a holiday we have like the full thanksgiving style spread mm. turkey mashed potatoes homemade dumplings cranberries they like to cook like southern cooked food with love like yeah. lots of potatoes lots of starches and carbs i love know? carbs i love starches liz doesn't eat starches or carbs now? no i okay. do not or sugar okay well i'll eat all of that <laughs> the recipe that you brought here today is is a meatloaf. Yes. So it's a vegetarian meatloaf, but we've added and changed a few things to make it vegan. You're gonna need two pounds of Beyond Beef in the store, and it was between Beyond and the- Impossible. Um, impossible, do you not like Impossible? I think Impossible is okay, but I think the Beyond has a better flavor and it doesn't get as dry. I feel like Impossible okay. gets really dry. Yeah, I mean, we've been trying all these different types of vegan meats, yeah. like fake, fake meat, plant-based meats, oh, plant fake meats, whatever. <laughs> I'm like the fake stuff. Um, and Beyond, I think, is my absolutely yes. my favorite. Your recipe called for an egg, yes. but we are subbing with applesauce. Yes. Applesauce is my sub for when I'm baking. Anytime I add an egg to a recipe, I'm just sub it out for applesauce. And I thought for this recipe, it would be perfect because we want to keep it like moist. Mm -hmm. We've got a spice mixture here. Yes. It is a teaspoon of thyme. We've got uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder. We've got two teaspoons of onion powder. We've got a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we also are going to add some fresh ground pepper, half a cup of almond flour. Yes. What are your What are your thoughts on that? So I, as you shared, I don't eat a lot of carbs, mm. starches. So I like to cook or bake with almond flour. It has the same consistency. It gives it a nice flavor, and it still gives you that starchy feeling without the added carbs. Yeah, I like almond flour because it also like is light. It's yes. like very airy. Yes. I, I love that. We've got some organic vegan ketchup. Up. And then the recipe called for Parmesan cheese. Yes. So our sub for this is going to be nutritional yeast. It's going to give it that like cheesy flavor. And it's also going to be a really nice binder, but it's going to give like really deep flavor. So I'm excited for that. Yes. And those are our ingredients. So Liz. Yes. I'm going to cook. Okay, perfect. Um, don't worry, the pressure's off. You're here as my guest. Ah, I love it. While I'm doing this, I would just love to like chat about the recipe. Sure. And this is super simple. We actually just take everything, add it to here. Yes. Mix it up, and then we're That's like, it? Go. Yeah, Voila! I love it. I'm so excited. I, I purposely chose yes. easy recipes. Well, we like to talk, so I think like we can talk the whole time, yeah. and we don't have to worry about the recipe. But. The most important thing with making the meatloaf is that you pour love into it, Ooh, okay? Because this is wow. a this is a home this is a home style meal. It's very nostalgic, you know. It's very American, mm -hmm. and I think it's just like the perfect recipe 
for anyone who doesn't cook, maybe you're not great at cooking because it really is just mixing the ingredients. But when it comes out, it's it's a crowd pleaser, yes. you know? And then I know you like a lot of the carbs I was mentioning, so a great <laughs> pairing for this would be mashed potatoes. But if you don't eat carbs or you're on a keto diet or whatever, you can make mashed cauliflower. Oh. Which is delicious. Yes. Can I tell you, I've been yes. eating lots of cauliflower wings. Oh, so good. And I've just been making them myself too, which is... In the air fryer? Yeah. Oh, they're so easy and they're delicious. It's so good. Okay, I am going to add our spice mixture first. Yes, spices are super important. Yeah. Uh, and Liz, uh, how did you come up with this recipe? Why? Sure. Yeah, tell us. Okay, well, I gotta give you a little bit of backstory, a little bit yeah. of the lore. I love to host. I love to host a party, oh, a get together. You were speaking you to know, my feelings right now. It's just the Libra in me, yes. right? But anytime I hosted a party, I would just buy pre made food or like stuff you heated up in the oven. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, I really need to show up. If this is my hosting gig, if it's my party, I wanna have like the center dish. Yeah. I researched what would be super easy to make and a lot of my friends are vegetarian so I wanted to cater to that crowd. I was hosting a Christmas party and I was like what better than a meatloaf? Oh, so yes. I started looking at traditional meatloaf recipes and how I could sub it out to not only be vegetarian but also friendly to those of us who don't eat carbs. Yes. So that's how I came up with it but this actually turned out amazing when I made it. It's like everybody's favorite now but that it hasn't always been the case because I've had <laughs> times where I have attempted things that did not quite turn out the oh. way I expected. We all have like a a kitchen mishap. Yes. We all have nightmares. a kitchen nightmare. <laughs> Before we continue, all I've done is add everything into here. I would love for you to give sure. me a little bit of pepper and I'm mixing this up. This is so fancy. This is the recipe. We literally just did it. So not only is it a crowd pleaser, it's also something so easy that you can just effortlessly yeah. throw together and it's going to please everyone coming to you. A kitchen, kitchen mishap. Ni kitchen yeah. nightmares. Many moons ago when I was living in St. Louis, she mm -hmm. was so for real. So I was dating this guy and we decided we were gonna host a Friendsgiving. And it was all of his friends because I didn't know anybody in St. Louis. So I was like, okay, I wanna be cute and I wanna bake because generally I actually bake more than I cook. I was like, let's get creative and fancy. And I had made this dark chocolate avocado mousse before and it was just so delicious and rich and I was like wouldn't it be cool if I made the mousse into an ice cream Yes. It would sound so good, right? That sounds amazing. So we had about 20 people coming. So I made my dark chocolate mousse. It tasted delicious. And then the next process was to turn it into popsicles and like put them in the fridge so everybody <laughs> could have individuals. So okay. I followed the recipe that I found and I thought it was gonna turn out amazing. I was hyping this up for like a week leading up to this. All of his friends, I was like, I'm making the dessert. It's gonna be so amazing. So the time came, I got them out and each of the guys like peeled it off of the, the wax the paper. paper. Yeah. yeah. And they started eating it and I could just see on their face that it was absolutely horrific. But they didn't want to say anything uh, to make me feel bad, so they just kept eating the popsicles, but with this look on their face like they just wanted to run to the bathroom. And yeah, you know, lesson learned. Keep it a moose, don't turn it into a popsicle. But it was disgusting. Uh, and then the only other dessert, because it was a Friendsgiving where it was like BYOF, bring your own food, okay. was a cake that someone brought from the St. Louis grocery store. It was Mountain Dew. It was a bunk cake doused in Mountain Dew. Was it good? I didn't eat it. All of my kitchen like mishaps have happened because I've been like distracted. Mm. So the last one was I had to go to the bathroom and I had stuff in the oven and I had on broil. I was like, oh, it's good. I set a timer for one minute, and then I went to the bathroom, and the timer went off, and I was like, why did I set a timer? Oh, well. I was scrolling through TikTok, and all of a sudden, I'm like, what is burning? I come back, it is almost on fire. It is, it might have caught on fire, and fire died out, because it was black. Oh I just had to throw the entire thing what away. Was it? it was a focaccia bread. I was so upset, too, because it doesn't take 10 minutes to make, you know what I mean? I had been doing it for like 24 hours. I had it resting, everything. So needless to say, no one had focaccia that day. Um, and it was just black. I thought like, maybe I can eat it. I took a bite and it was just, I don't know. It felt like I was eating coal. It was so bad. We're actually done with the meatloaf. 
So we Good took mixture. our spice mixture. Yes. We took our applesauce, our onion flour, our yeast, mixed it all together with our Beyond Beef and put it into our loaf pan. And then we coated it with our ketchup. Yes. And now all we do is put it in the oven at 350. Yes. And it's gonna take about an hour. We'll see you back in an hour. And also we want it to rest for about 15 minutes before we cut into it. So come back and see us in an hour. It's been an hour. We're gonna show it to you and then we're gonna let it rest. Oh look, you can see our office in oh, yeah. full. Ooh, it is bubbling. It's red it's so as well. Cute. You can see it. Okay, so we're gonna let it rest for about like 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and cut into it with all of you. We are at our final stage yes. of the meatloaf. As everyone can see, it is fresh out of the oven, and we are going to just make sure it can come off the sides, yes. yeah? Yes. We're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it out. Ooh! She looks good. She does look good. Oh wait, we're going to We can do, drizzle her. We're just gonna do a little bit of extra ketchup. Do you wanna spread it out with that spatula? Yeah. It's the end of the bottle. Is it? <laughs> it is the end of the bottle. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so good. And voila, there you go. Let's try it. Okay. How big of a slice do you want? That's good for me. Okay. I like the end. You do? I me do. too. Here, you should have the end. I'm gonna take you both ends. We're gonna cut both ends. Okay. Okay, so there's a slice for you. I'll Ooh, get you a fork in a second. Thank you, it looks so good. It does, the end The end is, is just, just like crispy. It's something yeah. special. Oh, you can see the heat coming out yes. of it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's delicious. It's so good. Wow. That's amazing. It's so good, yeah. right? Oh my God. So easy, but like 10 out of 10. Wow. It's, I think putting the ketchup on mm -hmm. before it goes in the oven mm -hmm. or while it's in the oven mm -hmm. really helped it to like caramelize mm -hmm. on the outside, right? Cause I have like a few crispy bits. So good. Which is really mm. Mm -hmm. Liz. I want to say a huge thank you to you. You're welcome. One, for coming on and joining me on the show today. But two, for bringing this recipe. Uh, everyone has been sending me so many different ideas and I just love, so keep them coming. Please send me more ideas because this is fantastic. I'll put the full recipe in the description below. Also like, follow, and subscribe if you want to see more cooking videos with my friends and many other people. And make sure you follow Liz on TikTok and on Instagram. Yes. I'll put those in the description as well. Bye! Bye. It's so good. It is really good, yeah. <laughs> we can finish it. Mm.